Learner-Centred Module Design. Designing modules from the perspective of promoting learning and engaging the learner rather than managing teaching and concentrating on what is taught can mean we have to radically change how we think about organising our teaching. People have called this a serious paradigm shift in how people think about education and in many ways this is true. Our instincts as teachers are to take control and teach without necessarily thinking about the fact that just because we teach something it doesn't mean it is necessarily learned. To understand the paradigm shift let's consider the scenario of being asked to design and deliver a module next term. Most often when we are faced with the responsibility of setting up and running a module our first concerns relate to factors that affect us, the teachers. These factors and questions are how much content do I have to get through and in how many class and seminar hours? How many students do I have to manage? And how much help can I get to do it? And how am I going to assess the students and how long will it take me to mark and give feedback? These are definitely valid concerns, but they can encourage us to take a purely content driven approach to designing our module. This could be described as an input based approach. Another way of looking at things when designing modules is to consider factors that affect the students, their learning and how we can stimulate that learning. This could lead to asking such questions as what exactly do I want my students to learn in terms of content, skills and attitude? How can I ensure these expectations are understood by the students so they can manage their learning and achieve their best? How am I going to create a learning environment in and out of the classroom to achieve the learning aims of the module? And what can I include to challenge students and ensure the fullest engagement with the class? With these types of questions, the focus of attention is flipped to what will work in terms of learning rather than what will work in terms of teaching. This could be described as an outcomes based approach. Besides thinking in terms of learning rather than teaching when designing a module, it is also worth considering how we want our students to engage with our module in order to develop the kind of intellectual habits we value. I'm sure we have all at some time wished that our students came to us as confident, engaged, curious individuals interested in learning for its own sake. Unfortunately, research shows that students put in the right circumstances will be dependent, disengaged, passive individuals, interested quite strategically in getting as much as they can from the system as quickly as they can and as efficiently as they can. Interestingly, what educational research also shows is that for the majority of students, the module design and approach taken to teaching is often the most significant factor in how they react to learning. To address this, we need to consider how we can design modules to promote more sustained, active engagement by students, resulting, hopefully, in deeper learning. Finally, we need to consider if our module design has coherence or alignment. This means ensuring that each element involved in the module is thought through in terms of how it connects to the other elements of the module and how it fits into the bigger picture, including the larger de degree programme and the surrounding context and constraints. So we need to consider if all the different elements of our module actually promote the type of learning and the standard of learning that we want.